Happening now, a federal jury is now in its third hour of deliberating the fate of a Huntsville police officer charged with excessive use of force. And that case went to the jury this afternoon after both sides made their closing arguments this morning. WFF 40's Lauren Bell is on top of the developments at the federal courthouse right now. Lauren? Well, the jury got back from lunch around 1.40, and then they've just been deliberating since then. We still haven't gotten a verdict from them yet, but just a few moments ago, they went into the courtroom and asked the judge a question. Now, earlier this morning, there were closing arguments. The prosecution is saying that Russell plotted, planned, executed, and covered up everything that happened on December 23rd that you can see in that video. Now, he also, the prosecution is also claiming that Russell's obstructed justice by falsifying a document. In the incident report that Russell filled out, about that night, he says that Hopkins began to spit, cuss, and tried to hit officers. He was told to stop resisting arrest, but refused to comply and was taken and booked into the jail without incident. Now, the defense attacked the credibility of the prosecution's witnesses. They say that Russell's used necessary force because Hopkins was resisting arrest. And the defense also says that Nick Hall and Officer Bates, who were two of the eyewitnesses who testified against Russell, have admitted to lying in the past, so they can't be trusted about what they say happened now. Now, again, like I was saying, the jury is still deliberating. We haven't gotten a verdict from them, but I'm going to go back into the courtroom, and we'll definitely keep you updated on what they decide. For now, reporting live in Huntsville, Lauren Bale, WAFF 48 News.